and it Thank you. See you. Cool. Oh yes. Uh let me put on the right, so having you Hi, um do I need to um, turn on the camera? Yes, of course, because that's the point the whole point having a, an interview to see the other person. It's just like online, it's easier than you know meeting in an office. And so I'm so sorry. Um, having my your CV next to me. Okay, cool. So, and um, yeah. So just this is just a little first interview. Get to know each other. Very informal. So just tell a little bit about yourself. Then I tell a little bit about myself. And then we'll see uh, if if there's like mutual interest. You know, what where did you learn English? Uh, why? you're in Budapest, you know, why it's a big world, you know, you're from Vietnam, why not go to China or New York or something, you know, why Budapest is a small country. Um, and so just tell a little bit about yourself. Why are you here? What are you are trying to achieve now in the next year, next two years, next three years? And oh, yes. what, what do you want to do in two or three years, you know, or in five years? Yeah. Oh, yes. Um, hi, my name is Nhung and I'm from Vietnam. Currently, I'm studying in Budapest. And um, before before entering the university in uh, Alta, like also in uh, in Budapest, I also have like uh, two, two, three, from two, three years, uh, the gap year time to um, gain the um, practical experience related to many still in the life that because I, I'm lost myself. I don't know what uh, I want to do with my life. And I'm try to uh, be an English teacher for a very long time. That is also become my small business uh, up till now. Mm. And I'm trying the role as the um, QA intern before in a tech company. Also related to the IT, um, like just a bit related to, to uh, technology. And I'm fighting um, about learning the coding, like just the basic one, like um CS or something like that. Okay, where where, then, where where was that? What what company? When was that work? Oh uh, oh is this DTN software solution? I'm don't rem I, I remember ah, the two okay okay that. yes 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 mm -hmm. yes is um uh, studying also working with um Europe uh Europe e commerce website in um Germany and in um Poland and but it is just like a short time i gained a lot of skill related to the it tech and also um and then i also um have the opportunity to work with a phd uh at another university in vietnam and i have a chance to um do the article with him so after many kind of experience that is not really something so deeply into it I just picture out myself that I'm suited for finance and that I want to choose the major in uh, Budapest and the reason why I choose Budapest is because I do the research before um, I would say that it take me not a low cost but it's like a affordable cost to living here and to achieve like uh, the degree here because I take a long time long gap year time compared to the other candidate so um, with the uh, so it's it's quite hard to get uh assessed into the other university in Vietnam, so I choose to study in abroad. Also, I aim to working here. That's why I after finish the bachelor degree, I am tending to seeking for the master degree in uh Germany. Yes. Oh, where and... where where in Germany? Uh, I would like to come to the Berlin or um, Munich because uh, I have the relative there and I can uh, stay there if I want to choose uh, to work here. And also seeking to another my opportunity. Okay, what do you want to do in master? Uh, I want to study more deeply about the investment because uh, personally I'm passionate about it. Uh, I have a one year invest in Vietnam so I find myself that um, I'm tending to interest in it and maybe it's also um, uh, yeah and 
before and maybe during the master or maybe before it, I will try my heart to get the CFA. Mm, what kind of investing? Oh, um, before that, I just investing in the stock, uh, Vietnamese stock type that and crypto. Like I mean, it's a really crazy phase of my life. Mm. Why, why not going more into the coding world, like software developing or anything? Oh, yeah. I find myself that um, I'm quite sociable. Like I can do the coding. I have tried before to figure out if I like it. Yeah, I, I like the way of feeling when I find the arrow, the bug when I'm coding. And after that, it's kind of really dopamine. But um, like for a long time, I want some uh, work that I can... Uh, uh, like personally, I like more finance than the tech company, and maybe it's uh, combined because I heard that in Germany have the major related to the informatic uh, economics, so it's maybe like both. Uh, but I'm turning into like focus more on finance. Mm. If you had to choose only one an analytical skill set, uh, social social skills, sort of people and stuff. Um, or analytical skills like numbers, things like that, or cre creativity, so, you know, creative mind. So these three different, very sort of like different um, skill sets or minds or talents. If you would only have to, could only choose one of these three, which one you would say you are, you're uh, more like you like this is what more like you or like uh this is your 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 character sort of like you, you, maybe oh, your um about my character and potential i would say that i like nearly 80 percent that sociable person and creative because um i find myself i do it better but with the all the skills that i also like uh, try my heart to be best because I want to settle on my life like I just feel that um, creativity can uh, take me a long run but uh, if the potential I would say that I would definitely go with this like I can be both but if I want to choose long term maybe creativity is more suitable for me mm. and and yet you're you're interested in studying something very analytical so it's all about numbers it's all about numbers and investment. Uh, yes. Um, uh, Pardon, can you repeat the question? I just. It is, you You chose like two of the three. I told you to choose only one. Okay. And then there's one you didn't choose, which is the analytical number based. Yeah, it's just all about numbers, numbers, numbers. Okay, the third one you didn't you did not choose is the one you actually plan to 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 do even more study in like investment. Oh, um, like uh, like at the moment I'm be I prefer the person to be more creativity, but as I said before, I can be both, and I would like to support my uh from you know like put uh using the uh, skill sets like I, what I choose to support that I'll pursue in their future because um uh i understand that the analytic skill and the skill related to the number is take more opportunity for me to working in uh european yeah but i ask you to choose on purpose only one of the three you don't have the option to choose more and uh, if you would have oh, only to choose one of the again? three, I, I, this is this is the important question. No, you have to listen oh, to yes. what I'm asking you. Okay, so this is you're only allowed to choose one of these three, only one. I'm still pursuing the creativity. Is this more me? Mm. Yeah, because you know, I. Uh, you say 80%, you're 80% social. Then the first answer was a combination of social and creative. And then before that, you talk, you talk, I asked you what, what is your plan for the next one or two or three years? And it was all about investment, which has first of all to do with numbers. It's it's all about data, data, data. And even if you combine investment with 
the, the, info, the, the coding or investment investment with with IT. You're right that there's no no separation anymore. You know, investing stock markets and so on. That's IT. That's one thing. Okay, but nonetheless, it's all about numbers. There is nothing social in there. There is nothing creative in there, really. I mean. And not in the sense of designing things and so on, you know, unless you're maybe some kind of architect there or whatever. But in a sense, if you study investment or anything, it's exactly so. Basically, it's you're extremely contradictive in what you say that you are planning to do now and in the future, and what you are actually, the way how you actually see yourself, where your talent and your real interest is, you know, and that's contradicting. And that's a problem. That's a big problem, because I wasted my, I wasted many years of my life being talented and interested maybe in one thing, but doing another thing because it seems more reasonable. You know. Oh yes. That that means you you can do one thing which seems more reasonable because it's a good thing to do. It's a good thing to do to know how to do Java or to know how to program or to know how to do investment. Yeah, it's it's a good thing to do. But if it's not what you are really burning for, if that's not really what you are talented in, then no matter how long you do what's reasonable, no matter how long you do it, no matter how much you do it, no matter how much energy you put in, you will never become better than average. You know, you will never become better than average. It's reasonable. Yeah, you will always have some job. You will always make some money. Okay, you will never be unemployed. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. But you will never be better than average. You will never become an A, an A player. You will never become the best of your kind. Never, ever. Okay. And such as myself and a lot of people wasting years, sometimes their entire life, not doing what they really feel from the inside that they're really talented in and they're really passionate about, but doing something that's important, reasonable, high in demand, yeah, and things like that, but they're actually not really, really interested in that. They actually know they're not really talented for. And just talking to you like for 10 minutes, I see this contradiction, which is not healthy. This is not oh, healthy, yes. you know? I'm just telling you that because you might do that. You might go for it. You survive another five years, another 10 years, maybe even another 20 years. But one day you will wake up and say, okay, I've done all these things, but I've never really done what I'm really, I'm really, really, really go would like to go for. I, and, and on top of that, I've never done what I really feel like I have actual talent that was like basically like you know natural given to me that i'm good at this or that thing you know and and i just follow what the mainstream what people say is important what people will will i don't know this industry will make money in the future so i go in there and so and that and it's basically like a, a contradiction that that you that you that, that i see in that what you just told me you know, because mm -hmm. I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna hire somebody who's do, who's doing one thing, but who's actually saying, okay, I'm actually good in the, in another thing. <laughs> so why are you doing this other thing when you actually now already saying, okay, I'm actually good in another thing? If you say like I'm good in in if you choose out of the three, creative, but you're telling me you actually want to do eighty percent social, and but. That's what you want to do is one thing is, is social then the, the thing you feel like you're actually good at is creative and then the thing that you're actually planning to do is investment which is analytically purely analytical and numbers based so you, you you're not it's going for the one less. thing you know you're not going for the one thing you're not you're not all in no matter what you do you're not all in and that's not good because I need people who are all in and what they do you know, it it because only then you can come a superstar. You know, 
anything else is just like average, you know, and that's that's not good for any startup, you know. Yes, I'll consider myself a bit ridiculous, and I'm so yeah. sorry if causing you like. Yeah, think, uh, think, think about what you like really are. Problem. Think first. Think about what you really are. What what you really can contribute. I mean, usually these two go together. What are you really? You feel you are good at, or maybe you become. You could become really, really good. So that's basically what every human has some kind of like uh, talents in themselves. You know. They are better in one thing, not so good in, in another thing. That's how humans are, you know? And then figure out what is your real passion. I mean, if you can combine these two, you already are a winner. You don't need to worry about anything else, you know? And it, whether that's like designing shoes, clothes, I don't know, playing, uh, taking care of kids, it doesn't matter what it is. Uh, but um, it doesn't need to sound cool or to sound reasonable you know it sounds good I, i'm doing a master degree in investment uh, that that yeah that it's always like you know you can print it out and put it on your pullover like you know and show it around you know i'm a master student in investment it sounds wow you can go to party and talk about that right it's bullshit you know you need to figure out what's inside you and then do something with that and I would suggest you like to have a good think about what I just told you, you know, and then maybe you can meet again. Maybe you have some new ideas or something um, because that's that's a prerequisite. OK, it's really important. Otherwise, you 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 might be wasting a lot of your time, which is such a, such a shame. You know, I wasted so many years of my time doing things that are just important or whatever. But I have. You know, they're, they're not my thing. It's not worth well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, then. Uh, thanks for your time. Think about it. Okay. Uh, let yes. me know. Yeah, give me some feedback of your thoughts, what you what you came up with. Okay. Talk to you yes. soon. Bye-bye. Thank you so much.